the year was 2007, and on the back of the March-April 2007 LEGO magazine, LEGO had just announced they have a grand prize of how you can get one of five solid gold C-3PO minifigs. And we are back. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Trouble Productions coming back at you guys again today with another video. And in today's video, I'm obviously going to be talking about what is quite possibly the rarest LEGO Star Wars minifig ever. Now, I want to talk about this because I've never seen anyone talk about this on YouTube before, and it is quite interesting to say the least. So everyone knows back in 2007, for a limited time only, uh, special edition gold metallicized C-3PO minifigs were hidden in 10,000 random sets of 2007 LEGO Star Wars sets. Now, um, there was obviously quite a low chance of getting this, but at the same time they had an even slimmer contest going on uh, with slimmer chances of winning, and that was a chance to win one of five solid 14 karat gold LEGO Star Wars C-3PO minifigs. This contest started all the way back in March, April 2007 in the LEGO magazine and that is primarily where it was held. I believe there was two other ones made but they were made for LEGO executives at the LEGO company. But nonetheless, this lasted the whole year of 2007 and there was multiple chances for you to enter this giveaway. And uh, I have to say, quite a lot of people entered this giveaway so your chances were very slim. So on the first March 2007 one, you could find out how to win one of these 5 solid gold 3PO minifigs and look on the inside of the magazine and you could follow the steps to actually do this. Now at this point it was just sending in a postcard or return thing with your name and address and everything on it in case you won and then this continued throughout the year. Um, some of the actual entries were a bit harder than others and they were actually kind of fun like back in the summer of 2007 they had a little thing can you spot the golden c3po in the scene um you could turn to page 24 in this magazine and you could look for it yourself if you did find it then you could turn to the page with the other um cp3o information on it and you could um spot where it was to and send that to lego and i believe or i can only assume that if you actually found it and sent that into them then you would have a better chance of winning it because it was actually, um, you know, you had to do something to win it. I do want to say I looked here a bit for it and I could not find it. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description below to the article I found all this information on. And you should actually look for it yourself. Um, it's very hard and I don't imagine many kids actually found it. And then during the August, September, you know, that time of the 2007 uh, magazines, they said it was the last chance to win it. You had to get all of your entries in by November 1st, 2007, and five winners would be randomly chosen from all the entries received. The winners would be notified in December 2007, and then they would further announce the winners in the early 2008 lego magazine which they eventually did do so we know all the winners names and some of them have actually gotten approached to uh, sell it before but uh, they haven't and i think some of them have so the contest eventually ended and these were the winners it was andrew hoffman christopher john carlo i think or cola it's kind of hard to see there uh elizabeth jacob jason macy and chris melchin um <laughs> some of them sound like fake names but i'm sure they actually won it and these are real people this is really interesting because some of the winners that have actually came out in the past, specifically in August 2014, and they said over the last couple of years, I've had several folks seriously inquiring about the purchase of the Solid Gold 3 PO. Um, at the time, my son still had not sold it. He entertained a couple of legit offers, but he ended uh, up not selling it. I'm guessing this is the father here because he goes on to say he starts college this fall and thanks uh, to his hard work in high school and his great test scores, he's not immediate of cash. And then he goes on further to say, on the flip side, should anyone catch a sale on any of the other four, I would appreciate a heads up to educate us on the where the market is on them. Now, the market is obviously very high for these, and that is the big question with these, because of course they've been passed through traders and sellers online before and stuff, but nobody really knows the market for these guys. And why I believe it is the rarest figure ever is because it is estimated to be worth 10 to 15 grand. Now, maybe that's why, unfortunately, the LEGO never makes anything like this anymore, which it was just so cool back in the day, you know, getting the Darth Vader or the C-3PO or, you know, the Boba Fett's or all those cool figures they made, very limited. But now they don't even do any figures for May the 4th. It's, it's very sad. And I think this might be the reason why, because of how much these are worth. But they should have expected it, too, at the time, I guess. Um, there's no real explanation, but I really wish LEGO would 
do stuff like this again. But that is all I have to say about what I believe is the rarest LEGO Star Wars minifig ever made. Um, some of you guys might disagree with this, saying others are rare, but this is in my opinion. And of course, of course, there are some minifigs that are one of one, only one in the world. Um, and I guess you could say that, but uh, this is really unique in my opinion and is the rare. So if you guys did enjoy this history lesson on LEGO Star Wars, uh, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, subscribing to the channel also does help. And let me know if you could actually find that C-3PO in that picture, because I could not find it at all. I don't know where it's to. Anyway, with all that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.